Hello everyone. I was sadly unable to attend Wednesday Sumo as ever, but I still have a fair amount of information to share with you. Firstly, Naya, third son of Takatoriki and grandson of Taiho, has guaranteed promotion to Division 2 with a win over Takagenji today. After trading several face shots with the Division 2 man, Naya got the left inside, leaned with all his might, and crushed him onto the floor at ringside. My mind and body were really at one today, said the 20-year-old, who has five wins from six so far. He half got a hold of me, but I shook him off and just kept going forward, which gave me even more confidence. I won't lose if I keep attacking. That also makes it three wins from three against salaried level opponents this term. Naya's already well used to the full-size top knot, it seems. Secondly, after yesterday's retirement announcement, Georgian Gagamaru went to the Kokugikan to hold an online press conference today, at which he confirmed he will stay in Japan and continue contributing to Sumo. Japan is my second home and I want to stay by the side of all those who've supported me, he said. A Sumo life is all I know, so I hope to teach Sumo and convey its importance across the world. He also revealed his decision to retire came when a specialist told him that even a double knee operation would not save his career. Thirdly, 21-year-old Koto Shoho made his first appearance in the final bout of the day, already, and most likely the first of many. The man who seemingly fears nothing was more than up for engaging even Takakesho in a thrusting battle, but showed his inexperience when tricked into overcommitting and being sent sprawling. Yes, I put too much into that thrust at the end, he said, clearly ruining his mistake. And I'm still lacking in raw power. However, Takakesho, who belongs to the same Nishonoseki group of stables, is already a fan. He's going to go far if he fully applies himself, said the Tenwin leader, who was fighting a Saitama Sakai junior in the top division for the first time. It's great to see these boys from my old school maturing into good fighters, he added. The oldest of those Saitama Sakai boys left in the top division, Miyogiryu, tried to thwart Teruno Fuji's title chances today by drilling both arms through the Mongolians' defenses. However, Teru was more than happy just to clamp them near the elbows and practically lift the veteran out for his ninth win. I fought him enough times to know exactly what he's going to do, said Teru. I wasn't flustered at all. My November goal is to get more than 10 wins. That's the score surprise package Shimano Umi already has after beating Ho Shoryu for the second time in succession with a signature left hand wedged under the armpit. Even though he gains the early initiative I won with my trademark style, puffed the orange-belted man from Kise Stable. Yesterday, coach told me not to let him grab my belt and just gradually advance forward with the arm block. Make my sumo work. That's the mentality I've come to adopt. Work it certainly does at the moment. Shimano Umi joins Takakesho in the lead, and Ryuden joins Terunofuji in second after beating Takarafuji in a high-profile battle of identical scores. Special praise must go to yesterday's hero, Hokuto Fuji, for fighting for over 90 seconds on consecutive days. Today's winning move at the end of an epic against Endo was a dazzling display of side-switching. An attempt at an outside left replaced with an exquisite thrust down from the right, all while moving backwards. I was more composed than yesterday and well-focused, said the Saitama Bruiser. I imagine it will all catch up with me after the tournament, though. And finally, another Saitama bruiser, also of Sakai High School, Dai Esho, posted a fifth win in five days against Tamawashi, a man he doesn't normally beat. I just told myself to relentlessly advance. The Tachiai is crucial, obviously, but I was also paying real attention to the second and third step forward, and just attacking with my legs, he said. I want to get back to Sanyaku level as quickly as possible. 
Will they return to touting Dai Eisho as a future Ozeki this time next week? I'll be back in the Kokugikan tomorrow to start finding out.